Comrades Ria. Ria. Comrades Power. Power. Comrades CBA. CBA. Comrades Internship. Internship. Comrades CBA. CBA. Comrades Strike. 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 Today marks the 48th day of our strike, and we are not seeing any end soon. And therefore, I will ask all the doctors to re-energize, to be ready to stay at home. Because this strike, we join the government who have been on strike for the last seven years. So government has been on the last strike for seven years and 48 days. We've just been on the strike 48 days. So we have still a long way to go for the government to, keep, to submit our rights. We know very well that we have a collective bargaining agreement that was signed after 100 days strike. I want to tell all of us, it will not take 50 days strike to have it implemented. It may take 100 days to have it implemented. It may take 200 days. It may take a year or so. But we, we are ready and we will continue. We are at a time of no turning back. We are at a time of no surrendering. Yes. Maybe they are waiting for us to get tired. But we cannot get tired. Yes. Getting tired is not part of our vocabulary. Yes. Because we can always go on and on until the time they say they are ready to implement our CBA. Yes. We have had meetings with government, mm -hmm. and government is dishonest. Yes. They are not ready to implement CBA, yes. and they are giving promises that they are not ready to keep. Because we are telling them that there is no any way you can give us a promise when you are violating the CBA outrightly before us. You can't tell us we pay the basic salary arrears when you can't pay intern doctors as per CBA. Wow. You can't tell us that you're going to you're going to post doctor interns as per the SRC circular that, be, that, that has been stopped by the court, yet we know very well that you are not ready to do so. So we are saying as a union that we will continue being on strike until government gets ready to implement CBA and post interns as per collective beginning agreement. Yes. That they must pay them as we negotiated. Yes. We are not ready to negotiate payments of salaries. Yes. We are not ready to have that CBA violated. Yes. We must also say we have doctors who are enslaved in level five and level six hospitals. Yes. Government has been saying they don't know these doctors. Yes. Yet these are the doctors running rotors in Kenyan National Hospital, in KTRH, where we have rogue country, rogue, rogue leaders, where we have rogue lady who is managing the board. We are saying no. They have been firing doctors. But one thing that we kept on saying, that there's no amount of victimization. There's no amount of threats. There's no amount of firing. There's no amount of sacking that will make us go back to work. What we're demanding is one thing, that CBA must be respected, must be implemented, must be protected. It is not only for interns, but it is for every doctor in this country. It's not only for doctors, it is for, for all the public servants. Because if they succeed in violating our CBA, I must say that there is no CBA which will be safe in this country. There is no one who will be safe. As long as a legitimate government is coming out to violate a CBA, it means that they respect no worker. They don't respect doctors, they will not respect anybody else. So we are in this thing for long. We are in this thing until the government is ready to implement the CBA. Yes. We are going to back down, we are going to surrender, and our strike continues. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, yes. Doctors, viva! Viva! Doctors, viva! Viva! Thank you. Now, my name is Dr. Charles Mokwai. I am the General Secretary of the Trade Unions Congress of Kenya and I speak on behalf of all public service trade unions in this country. We agreed yesterday that we join the doctor's strike as from today. All public servants in this country resolved that they are going to join the doctors as they push for their CBA to be implemented. We are saying this because once the doctor's CBA is allowed to be bastardized, the rest of the public servant CBAs will never be respected. And so our message is very clear to the government. Respect first, accept that the doctor's CBA is legitimate as it was signed, implement it as it was signed and implemented in total. Once you do that, 
the rest of the ideas will now come on the table. Number two, we are joining doctors in this business because the government is threatening all of us, the public service. When the government is casualizing labor in this country by converting permanent and pensionable members of staff, employees in the public service to contract that is casualizing labor. You cannot send a doctor who is serving in Kenyatta National Hospital, for example, and you want to give him to serve on contract, and he is enjoying permanent and pensionable terms. And so as long as the government is threatening public servants in that direction, as public servants, we will stand with the doctors, we will defend the doctors, we will defend the public servants. Yes. Yes. Number two, the government must stop giving threats and intimidations. We are a country governed by law. We have one of the most progressive constitutions. Kenya has ratified very many ILO conventions. And all these provide structures and organs for partners, social partners to sit and discuss and negotiate, engage in social dialogue under the drafted uh, committee arrangement. Why is Moses Kuria making declarations on the roadsides? Why can't he face the unions in a structured dialogue and be able to bring whatever proposal that he has so that we engage in it? But as long as they threaten and give those roadside declarations, we are here to stand with the doctors. And the doctors do not think of going back. Do not relent. No. It is your CBA. It was signed. It is the government's own proposal to come down from 357,000 to 206. That was the government's proposal. If then the union agreed to the government's own proposal, why are they now deciding to change it midstream? And are trying to change it unilaterally because the CBS provide moderation, modification, alteration, amendment of any CBA that has been signed. There is a procedure of how to go about it. Why is the government using unorthodox means to vary that particular CBA? And so, to the rest of the public servants, stand with the doctors. These are your brothers, are your sisters, and we are our own brothers, keeper. Doctors, viva! 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 Thank you very much. My name is Grace Nyongesa. I'm the Vice Chair of Trade Union Congress Kenya. We serve the public sector unions, and we are here in solidarity with the doctors. Viva doctors! Viva! Viva KMPDU! Viva! We stand in solidarity with the doctors because the manner in which the doctors are being handled in this country is uncalled for. It is unnecessary. It is embarrassing. It is very sad for the government to stand out there and appear to be working when the doctors are on the street. If we don't have a healthy nation, then what do we have? What is left for Kenyans? When the doctors are crying, I have said mothers are crying. When mothers are crying, a whole family is crying and the whole nation is crying. Can somebody listen, wake up from their sleep and listen to the doctors? For as long as the doctors are on the street, the strike is gaining momentum. People are joining in solidarity with the doctors. And as public sector unions, we are here to, to stand in solidarity with the doctors. When somebody stands up and just makes roadside declarations about uh, um, public servants coming from contract, from uh, public PNP to contract, contract. to contract, then you are threatening the entire nation. It is civil servants, it's public servants that implement government policies and government um, programs. And programs in the government sector. So if you threaten them, then what are you saying? You are threatening a whole nation, you are threatening public servants, there is total unrest you are creating, which is unnecessary. Can somebody wake up and listen to the cry of doctors? It is legitimate. If you, if you negotiate a CBA, sign it, register it, what else is left? Implement it. Honor the CPA. That's all the doctors are asking. They are not out here on frivolous claims. They are claiming what is rightfully theirs. The other day I had somebody compare the interns, the doctors, to any other. 
it is very embarrassing. Don't they understand what the training of a doctor entails? Don't they understand? It is very embarrassing. Somebody else says, I didn't ask them to train as doctors. It is embarrassing. Shame. 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 Shame on you for making such declarations. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Injinema Corey James from Kenya University's Staff Union. We are here to support the cause for the workers of this country and especially those who are working in the public service.